In this part two video, we're gonna remove a real green screen. Immediately, you should notice that our green screen background has a couple of wrinkles. The lighting is much lighter on the right side than the left, and there are some stains on both sides of Mr. Ramage. So even though we're gonna follow the same steps as the first video, we need to make some adjustments. Remember, this is a process, and it's gonna involve a little bit of trial and error. So because I know that my background isn't perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer, and this is gonna save us some time in the long run. So our goal is to get Mr. Ramage cut out and in front of this image. But before I can do anything, I'm gonna click on the water background image, I'm gonna to go to new layer, and I'm gonna paint bucket that layer solid black. So if I hide the green screen Mr. Ramage layer, I can see my solid black layer. Now I'm gonna highlight the Mr. Ramage layer because that's the layer I want to edit and work on. So I'm gonna to go to select, color range, notice that the eyedropper pops up again, and I'm gonna select that green screen background. If I click multiple times, notice how our preview changes. The goal is to get the background white while leaving Mr. Ramage black, because the white shows what is selected and the black shows what is left alone. So I can adjust that fuzziness, but if I go too far, notice how Mr. Ramage starts to become light. Well, that means he would be selected, and I don't want that. So I need Mr. Ramage to be black, but as much of the background to be white, because I want that selected. So I'm gonna hit okay. This did a pretty good job. If we notice we just have a little bit that is not selected here, our stains have not been selected, and we actually have just a little bit on Mr. Ramage that is selected, but we need it to be removed. So I'm gonna use any other selection tool to help clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the rectangular marquee. Now I want to add these stains to the selection. So I'm gonna hold shift, that plus sign is gonna appear, so anything I select will be added to my overall selection. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. This little part, I'm gonna to switch to the polygonal lasso. Again, I'll hold shift so that plus sign appears. I'll select that, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Now, if I zoom in on Mr. Ramage's lanyard, I need to deselect that, so I'm gonna hold the Alt or Option button, that minus sign's gonna pop up. Guess what, I'm gonna select that, and now that's going to deselect that from my overall selection. The last part we need to clean up is in the lower left corner. Wow, there's a lot going on here. So this is where the polygonal lasso really helps. I'll hold shift so that plus sign appears and i'm going to zoom in a bit and make sure that i get all these little speckles added to our overall selection because i want those to be deleted so i know that sounds a little strange but i need to add that to my overall selection because this is the part that i'm going to delete so look at all this mess and again this is because our green screen it wasn't perfect, so it wasn't ironed, the lighting wasn't really good, it was maybe dirty, there could have been some stains on it. So now I'm gonna come over here, make sure I get all this selected. I'm gonna go up, zoom out a little bit, and now because I'm close to my original starting point, I can just hit return, and now that's added to the overall selection. So now we get to return to the process from the first video. I'm gonna go to select, modify, expand. We're gonna use our two pixels, I'll click OK. And then I'm gonna go back to select, refine edge, and I'm gonna change that smooth to 10 just to smooth out that selection around Mr. Ramage. Awesome, this looks great. So now I can go ahead and hit delete. But look what happened. The background isn't completely deleted. Well, good thing I added that black background. That really enabled me to see what was still left. If I didn't have that, it almost looks like the cutout actually worked, but there's just a little tint to it. So I'm gonna turn that layer back on. Now I'm gonna to go to the eraser tool. Making sure that I'm on the Mr. Ramage layer, I'm gonna just go ahead and erase the rest of the green screen. So for whatever reason, this didn't delete when we hit the delete key it was still there. But now we can just go back and we can erase it. And because that black layer is there, I really get the feeling of what is actually there and what has been erased. That looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command D to deselect. I will hide that black layer. 
and now Mr. Ramage really looks like he's cut out. Some of you might be asking, well, what about his hair? Hair is very tricky, and there will be a separate video on how to deal with removing the green screen from the hair. Some of you might also be wondering, well, what about this tint of green on Mr. Ramage? It might be really tough to see, but if you want to go above and beyond, we're going to do this. We'll go to the Mr. Ramage layer, and we'll make a copy. We'll hit Command-J. That just copied Mr. Ramage. Next thing we need to do is we need to invert this layer. So I'm going to hit Command-I. That inverts all of the color. Next, we're going to go where it says Normal. We're going to click on that, and we're just going to go down to Overlay. So that's going to overlay that inverted color layer on top of the Mr. Ramage layer. Now this looks a little scary, so all we need to do is just lower that opacity. I'm going to go all the way down to about 20. That's really going to clean up that, that slightly green tint on Mr. Ramage and just make that image that much more believable. If you want to adjust the opacity a little bit, you can always play around with that. There's no magic number for the opacity. 10 looks good. 20 also looked okay. So adjusting that opacity layer on the inverted color works really well to get rid of any unwanted tint. And that's how you remove a real green screen.